name is Heather McTeer Tony. I serve as the National Field Director for Moms Clean Air Force, an uh, organization of over a million amazing parents that are just dedicated to helping protect children from the impacts of climate. I'm also a recovering politician. <laughs> I served as the first African American and first female mayor of Greenville, Mississippi, and as regional administrator for EPA under President Obama. The Washington Post story and investigation and working with reporters is really what heightened my awareness around environmental issues with communities of color. Uh, at the time, Lisa Jackson was, she had recently been appointed the first African American woman to lead the Environmental Protection Agency and she was getting ready to do a tour of communities across the country and Greenville was the first that she visited as a result of that story and so when she came she uh, pulled me aside she said you know you're doing environmental justice work right I was like, you know, I'm just trying to get clean water from my city she's like no really um, this is what environmental justice work is you've, you've been doing this work for a while and she asked me to um, serve as the chairwoman for the Local Government Advisory Committee for EPA. And that was an, a committee comprised of elected officials from across the country, there are 30 of us, that would advise EPA on whether or not the regulations they were considering would actually work in local communities. And I, you know, was of course ecstatic. Lisa Jackson here is asking me, this young black mayor, from a small town in Mississippi to chair a federal committee. And she's like, hold your horses, because uh, you don't know what you're getting into yet. <laughs> and she was absolutely right, because two weeks later, BP oil spill happened. I never stopped working um, in talking about what environmental issues were, especially in the places where I saw, around the Mississippi Delta in, and around poor people. Folks who were living in, in the Delta or in, in communities day to day, climate change wasn't a big deal. It wasn't a big issue. But we were seeing the impacts more and more, you know, more and stronger floods that were coming. You know, floods were coming with more water in them, um, just back to back devastation. We had Hurricane Katrina that we thought was like the pinnacle of, of what devastation would look like when you have these extreme storms that take place. But then after Katrina, there were so many more that kept coming to, to the point where now today in 2020, Katrina is just one in a string of Maria and Harvey and others that we name that have done equal, if not more, devastation. When I was mayor, um, dealing with flooding in a way that no one had previously had to deal with it. If I am not speaking on behalf of people and doing this work, of people who look like me, who, no one else is going to care. 